Hello everyone, Troopa Base, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Last time, it took a while, but we got the green gem from Lost City there. And we went back to go get a gem that we couldn't get earlier now that we had the green gem. This time we're going to hope for a better run here, though, as we go to the Temple Ruins here and hope for a better Temple run, shall we say. I had to! Let's just start the stage! Missing boxes follow the trail of Wumble Fruit. Yeah, the, yeah, that's the name. I've never did go over the name. That's the name of the fruit there for that though. But, but yeah, we, we got some, like a, a, a temple level here though with, with this bit here though. And this is actually one of those stages where I mentioned before about it being a bit jerkish because there, there was a box up over there. There's a bounce. There's a bounce crate hiding up there the, behind the, behind the Aku crate here. And it's even is because I'm coming out this from the. From the previous stage, from the previous one where I got two Aquamans, so if I broken that crate immediately, it would have it would have been problematic. Though I probably should have went and just try to reset the game or something like that. That way I would have that way I would have lost the Aquamans or something there. But yeah, you spend, this, I probably should have done this a bit differently here. I'm I, I'm actually thinking about taking a hit on purpose just so I can. This is, okay over here though, Snake. You can bounce on the snake or spin into it though, but otherwise it's it's not really much of a threat though with that though. But the the problem I have with these stages though is depth perception though. The depth perception can get a bit weird, especially when you're trying to do the platforming, especially from this direction, like the four directions and such like that though. But oh, that actually was not intentional, so I'll, but I'll take it though. Like at least it gives me a way to, to not cheese uh, the stage over here though. You have to watch the time with that though, because that will crush you. Otherwise, though, but otherwise, it's not much of a problem. Though. Of course, once you pass the old parents, stop doing that though. Got a spider over there though. You can bounce off it or you can spin it. I fell off the side there. It's like I got. The, I was a little further ahead than I thought it was though. So that happened. <laughs> Uh, I said before I was th I thinking maybe like possibly to like intentionally take a hit or something like that though. Not like th to, to reset the Akus there to that way I wouldn't I couldn't just break the level there. Well, I kind of got my wish with that though. Although that one was not intentional. Okay, though. No, let's wait. Wait for the pass to go by. I, I hope that and I hope that spin in the, the, the spider over there didn't did not just make me miss a box or something like that though because I know there I know there's another case though where you have to bounce off of to, to another box or something like that though but I hope that's not this one here I thought that was I thought it was later in this level where that was the thing but I know it's the thing in the, in the level though where you have to bounce up in the case kind of like at the first one there you had to bounce off a crate there to get to another one though because this is the point of the game where they start hiding stuff like that all right spin you away there I'm just on the, out, on the other side of that there Okay, I'm gonna wait for the flames to go back there just to watch that for that though. But yeah, like I said, I love the aesthetic of these stages though. I, lo I love the theming of this of, of the temple stages though. But they're again like try again depth perception can get a bit awkward, shall we say, with with this part of the, the platforming. Okay, so okay, okay, so they're not together though. So the, so, so, so you just get across that way here. This is one you gotta watch the, the platform here carefully though because the, the that form, this first one will fall a bit when you go down there after you step on it for like a second though but you also gotta make sure you, you time the other one there right as well so that way you can reach that one there so so like I said you gotta watch the timing there and remember the hint about follow the trail of Wumper Fruit this is the hint they were talking about here though to like it is the invisible invisible pathway here that opens up as you walk over it here. With, with that trail of Wumper Fruit being your hint for that though, and that's what I, that's what I was thinking of earlier. At least it's obvious, but 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 the bounce crate though. Now if I can spit time I spin right. Uh, I was about to say did I, I, I I was about to say I think I just messed up my timing there. But also yeah, yeah now you gotta start hitting the points though where you got where you're running out of the little plastic is gonna start falling away though. The Wumble Fruit Trail is kind of your head as far as the way you're supposed to go with it, though, because because you're having to go against the camera again there. And I think I just spun the spider with it that came down without realizing. I thought I was a little further away though, but it's weird like this though. Okay, 
I was gonna say, please tell me they just timed that wrong there. Now, I should point out though, if you do mess with the timing though and the platform falls away though, it will come back. So it's not like if you mess with the timing, you're you're out of luck, but it just, it just means you gotta, if you make it back to the safe platform, it just means you gotta wait a little bit to, for, for the platform to come back. But yeah, Temple of Ruins really isn't that bad of a level though, aside from like those high, aside from those high, high in the blocks like that though. Okay, good. I was about to say, like, please tell me. I took a hit in the back. I was about to say, please tell me I didn't just miss the chance for. I didn't even see the bats back back there though. If they were visible, I tunnel vision there. Unless the unless the crusher unless the crusher was kind of. Unless, unless the crusher just obscured the view of it though, and I. Like I, said, I think it's more likely I tunnel vision there with that though. I was so focused on the crushers, I'd miss the bats. But hey, at least I've already got the at least I've already got the gem at this point. I don't was I think I'm pretty sure that counted though because I I'm not seeing it on the screen. Oh no, the, I'm thinking I'm thinking of future games. Yeah, it's not yeah it's not even there now. So it's all right. Let's pay very close attention here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that, that, that does confirm. I just kind of tunnel vision there. I just. Uh, I was so focused on the crushers, I didn't see the bats. I I I, I was like, oh no, and then the spin, spin, spin. But that worked out though with that though. I was like, I got a little nervous there. But that that wasn't so that one wasn't so bad though. Like a couple moments of stoop, a couple of dumb moments, but not so bad there with that though. But now if we can move on to the next point here, we gotta go on to the road to no. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 not this level! Not this level. I don't like this level. Direct attacks don't hurt these high altitude hogs. If only that was the worst part of this level. The bridge levels here. You know what I said about, like a few parts back, about how Crash and Coco have rounded hitboxes that makes the platforming a lot more precise? This is one of the stages where it really comes into play. These lighter planks are the ones that, that, that you can stand on no problem here. The darker ones will fall away after a little bit. And then you have and then you have to just basically get get across the bridge over here though. Oh. And of course the cracked ones are the ones that'll just go away immediately though, but But yeah, yeah, platforming actually gets a bit the platform we can actually get pretty tight here with this, though, especially with those one, especially with those one plank ones, though. And it, it was nowhere near as tight as this in the in the original Crash Bandicoot game either, though. So, yeah, this is one. This is one of those levels I actually am expecting to, to lose quite a few lives to it, though, because because they, because 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 these are the stages where the platform can get really really tight. There we go. Okay. That, that, I've had worse starts here, but but the hint talks about the higher to do hogs, so that you cannot hurt these hogs at all. So the best way to get around them is to basically just jump over them. But of course, you got a timer around trying to get the, with that though. But trying to get around them. Oh yeah, th those light blue ones though are ice physics ones. Those so you, it, it, the game will try to basically make you slip off those as well. How did I how did I land that one? I'm not gonna complain. I thought that was one that would have pushed me off the edge because that's because that's happened to me before. Like I will not complain, but. It's kind of a, how did that work? And there we go there. One thing I think is nice about the stage though, though is that I think it is a bit generous about the checkpoints. So, so there, are, there are a number of checkpoints there. Speaking of which, I think that was one just up there on the next part there. Okay, though. No. Okay, here. Also, there is a way you can kind of cheese these levels a bit as well, though. But it's a bit, it's a bit tricky, though, is that you can't actually get onto the ropes and walk on the ropes over there as well, though. But and kind of cheese the platforming segment, though. If that, if that happens again, I may have to try that to demonstrate that a bit, though. I don't want to. How did that not hit me? I thought I was going to take a hit there. Like, how did that hog not just hit me there? Okay, I, pay, I paid for it with that one there. Okay, I, I deserve that one. Alright, so let's... Try to line this up right. There we go. That that wasn't the one that was giving me that much grief before. Alright. 
this is one of those give big uh, grief more than here. Okay, so let's. Ah, there's that again. Like I said, because I'm always afraid I'm going to overshoot it. That That's why I do that, though. Like, I'm always afraid I'm going to overshoot it. But yeah, but again, like, it, that, that rounded hitbox means that that, that the, the platforming in these stages is much more precise. In Activision and, and Vicarious Visions, they basically kind of said that that was not their intention to make these stages that much harder there. <laughs> I, I, I went to recover there. I was like, no, oh, wait, that's what I was going to fall. Okay. Breathe, just breathe easy. Easier said than done. High altitudes. I speak from experience. I speak from some minor experience with with some of the trails, like in mountains, though. But I, I haven't really been to like the Rockies or anything like that. I'm not talking about those. Like, oh, well, I take that back. I've been one time though. But I, I digress. Point being though that you, is that like my whole breathe easy thing kind of got kind of got ruined there. But oh, so close. That was just that was just dumb. Okay, so dumb. Let's do it twice. Because like some of these long jumps, some of these long jumps could get really actually do get pretty tight. And another issue with this stage, one issue with the stage is we have to come back to this one too. This is a stage that we can't get the gem that we can't get the gem here because it requires a color gem in another stage. So we are gonna have to come back to this one. So we're gonna have to watch. Uh, I I didn't see that one coming in, in time. Oh, please tell me. Oh, I gotta do this part again too. I'm eating my words about this stage being a bit generous with the checkpoints. Okay, let's. I'm I might be having something pop up in a in a little bit though if I die again though because I've already because I have died a lot in this stage though and well this is at least gonna count as another checkpoint here I got a bonus stage over here though which also I tend to jump towards that one though because I have fallen off that before also I'm not entirely sure I, I was not entirely sure why I'm going my way to kind of show that this one though because again we can't do I can't get all the boxes anyway though but at least I can oh, I know what a to kind of show it's here though and B to try to get a few See if I can get a few extra lives out of this, because I've already lost several lives here, though. But that's kind of part of the course for for for, for the for these for the stage here. Though. Like this is definitely one of those not easy stages here. Also, yeah, the turtles are here as well. Remember what I said before that you there are times you're gonna have to use the turtles as like springboards. This is this is what I'm talking about here with that though. And, and in fact, they even like give you some like already flipped over just for the purpose of jumping across over. All right, so now that we've got that one there, we got that one there, though, and also you, yeah, you can see the little outline over there that's showing the, the box, showing that showing that we needed another gem for this as well. Great, but you missed eleven boxes. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, it's gonna be a while before we're gonna be able to get that one though, to get that gem though. But that's actually wasn't one of my worst runs of that though. Like, like that was not a good run though. But I've had I've actually had I've actually had worse runs of that one, though. This I might be having the worst time with though. Boulder Dash. As the level, as the name implies, it's a boulder level. We haven't seen one of these in a while, and it already tells you you basically can't get the the, the box gem anyway, though, because unlock a new path by earning the purple gem elsewhere. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to kind of do this. We're gonna have to, we, we are gonna have to return to this stage a bit though. But it's another one of these boulder, boulder chase levels here, a bit though. Again, focus. Fo so especially, especially on this run here though, fo just fo just focus on surviving rather than trying to go for the boxes though. Because remember, in these boulder section, in, in the boulder sections here, though, like I said, like I said, the boulder will destroy most of the the boxes for you. So, so, so that, that, that's at least helpful. Again, like focus focus on surviving, staying ahead of that boulder, because you don't get a lot of room, because you don't get a lot of room for error with some of these with some of these segments here. Also, I'm not gonna lie, this is also one of those cases though where it might be better to use the D pad as well, though, because I swear. Because I don't know if it's just me, but using the control stick can get a bit awkward on some of these as well, especially with on the, especially like on the, especially on the, especially like on the Joy Cons or something like so that. Though even the the Switch controller as well, though. But maybe that's just me though, the way I'm holding it though. Because like I've had times where, where my thumb will try to slide off the control stick. 
But if we, yeah, like I remember this last section actually getting a bit tighter, being a bit tighter as well. Though you gotta like watch it a bit though. And of course you just gotta again like try, trying to react to everything as well though as it's coming up there. I thought I jumped too early there for a second. Oh my gosh, I actually did. I did that first try. I may actually have time to do the next stage after that though. But of course we can't get we can't get all the boxes right now though. Also, yeah, if you hold down the A button, though, you you can, or, or whatever button is, it's like no, you, you can you can more or less skip, you kind of speed up that cutscene though, where Crash is getting beat up by boxes though that he missed. But, but uh, actually, but I'm trying to think about this though. Let's see here though. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is on. Uh, this is a long stage actually though. So, honestly, part of was thinking about trying to hold off. I was thinking about doing the next stage over here though, but this though, but honestly, this is a long one here. So, this part maybe this episode may be a bit shorter though. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this part here with this one here. Though, like I said, like I don't think I'm cutting out much. So, but it's still it may maybe on the bit on the shorter side, but. We'll see though. So next time on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we're gonna go to Sunset Vista where there is a, looks like there's a key here as well. So we're gonna have to see what's up with that though. So, so until then, see you guys then. Thank you all for watching.